Hi, I'm Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles and StudioCycles.com and in this short YouTube video I want to talk about the difference between perimeter weighted flywheels and non-perimeter weighted flywheels. Now, when Johnny G was trying to uh, design the perfect uh, exercise bike to mimic uh, outdoor cycling, um, I was managing Beverly Hills Bike Shop, it's about 15 years ago, 15 plus years ago, and Johnny G basically took an old chewing exerciser, he modified the seat so that the seat would go back and forth, um, you know, back and forth for a better fit. He modified the handlebar so he had more hand positions. Um, but the overall feel of the bike, the drive train of the bike from the flywheel to the crank, he just couldn't get, he just couldn't get it to the point where it felt like his bicycle. And the original Schwinn exercisers used a caliper like so. Um, and when you turn the knob, the caliper squeezes, it creates more resistance and you're able to simulate different type of ride conditions. Now, when he came up with what's called a perimeter weighted flywheel, where all the weight is on the outside edge of the flywheel here, that's called perimeter weighting. And what perimeter weighting does is when you engage the drivetrain and the flywheel starts turning, it generates seriously aggressive inertia. And when the flywheel turns, with the aggressive inertia, the flywheel turns and there's a lot uh, of inertia that keeps you from maintaining what I call an up, down, up, down, up, down Stairmaster pedal stroke. So, um, non-perimeter weighting would be something like this. This is the Le Mans Revmaster Sport. And if you look at the flywheel, it's flat and skinny. Um, there's no bulge, there's no perimeter weighting. If you look at uh, the Kaiser M3, no perimeter weighting, it's just a flat, skinny flywheel. In fact, for the main, um, basically the four companies that most people look at in the commercial world is Star Trek, Schwinn, Le Mans, Kaiser. Kaiser has the lightest flywheel of any bike in the industry, so it tends to provoke a Stairmaster pedal stroke. The Le Mans Revmaster, although the flywheel is larger and heavier, it's still non-perimeter weighted and does tend to provoke uh, a Stairmaster pedal stroke. The Le Mans Revmaster Pro, which is this bike up here, uh, same thing. It has a, a flat, skinny, albeit a very large diameter flywheel, it is flat and skinny. Now, the Schwinn AC Performances, they use perimeter weighting. Um, the Star Trek Spinner Pros, perimeter weighting. Uh, even the uh, Spinning.com Spinner Fit uses a perimeter weighted flywheel. Uh, IC Pros, of course. Uh, of course, the Star Trek Spinner NXTs have perimeter weighting, and these bikes, because they produce that aggressive inertia, um, you get a fl you. If you don't have a pedal stroke, most people come to the table with what I call a stairmaster pedal stroke: up, down, up, down, up, down. That's hard on the hip flexors. It's hard on the knees, it's hard on the ankles, it's hard on the muscle fibers, and you tend to produce endorphins slower when you're doing the up, down, up, down, up, down pedal stroke. With perimeter weighting, a non-cyclist will go into an indoor cycling class or a spinning class, they'll get on the bike, they'll start riding, and because of that aggressive inertia, they don't even realize it, but they're developing a beautiful 360 degree pedal stroke. So, um, I think um, having aggressive inertia um, and having a perimeter weighted flywheel for most normal mortal men and women is, is, um, is a key factor uh, in, the, in, in the success of getting on the road to better fitness through indoor cycling. Now you can call me directly uh, seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. My telephone numbers are 888-909-BIKE, that's toll free, 818-470-2204. Uh, or 310-664-1375 and I'll be happy to talk to you uh, about all the differences between the bikes. Call me up, tell me what you're looking at. Um, you're, you may have a friend or neighbor or trainer who says, oh, you gotta have this bike. I have this bike, I love this bike. That bike might not work for you because they love it doesn't mean you'll love it. Um, there's a lot of dynamics, there's a lot of mitigating factors in choosing the right bike. Um, we're the only company in the world that 
when you buy a bike from us, we don't process your credit card and just grab a box and send you a box. 99.999% um, of the people who sell bikes online, they process your card, they send you a box. They don't open the box, they don't know what's in the box, they know what's in the box in terms of model, but we build bikes professionally. We pull the bike, we take the bike apart, we do the insides of the bike. Um, I ride and tune every single bike that goes through my company. Um, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that uh, it'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find the owner of a company um, that does the amount of work that I do to my bikes. My ass is on the seat of every bike that goes through my company. Um, these IC pros are going into a club in West Hollywood. I'll ride and tune every single bike uh, that goes into that club. Um, I have the only two indoor cycling specific retail stores in the world. Every bike in those stores, I've ridden them, I've hand tuned them personally. Um, we are also the only company in the world that for consumers, um, we do a lifetime warranty and lifetime parts replacement on most all the commercial bikes we sell. So I want to invite you to call me personally and talk to me about the bike choices, what you're considering, what your friends are recommending, and uh, I'll help you to decide which bike is best. And if you're a commercial facility, um, you know, it might be worth... Uh, you know, spending a few extra bucks on freight or shipping to have us pro build and hand tune your bikes and then send them to you as opposed to, you know, the normal IKEA end table build that 99% of the fitness equipment companies do before they deliver bikes to clubs. Um, a monkey can build a spin bike out of a box. You pull it, you bolt the bases, you screw in the pedals, you put the handlebars in, you put the seat in, there's your assembly. Wrong. A good professional in-depth approach to uh, indoor group cycle assembly uh, from a commercial perspective is take the bike apart. Check everything. Check the integrity of the drivetrain, the chain wheel, the flywheel sprocket, the chain. Check for stiff links. Do a drivetrain treatment. Um, take the levelers out. Chase the thread barrels. Uh, lubricate all the mechanisms. Um, remove and treat the pads so that you get a good compression ratio in the resistance mechanism. There are 35 to 40 different things we do to every bike that we sell, whether it's into a home or into a club, um, and no one's been doing this longer than I have. Um, if you're watching this video, you're already on our YouTube channel, and um, our YouTube channel is unprecedented in terms of the amount of depth of information that we provide to you for free with our free Bike Buyer Aid video library. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to me. And I wish you, I want to wish you the best of luck on your road to health and fitness.